James Michael Holder, born 1948 in Odessa, Texas. That's easy enough information to get, but how did Mike Holder get into golf? What was his first interest in golf? Was he very good at it when he started? How did he go from Odessa, Texas to Sepulpa, Oklahoma to Ardmore, Oklahoma? How on earth did he become a Oklahoma State Cowboy, turning down other offers and ending up here and being closer to his mentor, his eventual mentor? What is it about James Michael Holder that makes him so interesting? We sat down and talked to Mike for an hour and 45 minutes. It's going to be a good series, a long series, getting a chance to know everything there is to know that we could kind of ascertain from sitting down and talking to the man about everything that is Mike Holder. Let's check in with Coach. So, so where'd you grow up? Hmm. Odessa, Texas, in the Permian Basin, where the, all the oil is. I was born. Uh, I was born in Odessa. We lived in a Gulf oil camp in Goldsmith, which is uh, pretty close to No Trees, and it's well named. <laughs> and I remember, we, my dad bought the company house, moved it to Odessa. I started elementary school there and then moved to Andrews. I uh, got transferred to Andrews, which is 30 miles north of Odessa. And I went through the sixth grade there. Uh, he built a house there for $12,000. I always remember that. <laughs> Had concrete block fence in the backyard. Uh, he used to uh, catch quail back there, blue quail. It was all out war on them. Because those, those ran, they didn't fly. Uh, I remember that, he had a chin and bar in the backyard for me and I should have used it more. Uh, but I loved it there in Andrews. It, uh, it, I, he got transferred to Sepulpa, Oklahoma when I was in the sixth grade and I cried from Andrews all the way to Sepulpa. But when I got there, I thought, wow, they have trees here. <laughs> so, different part of the world. And uh, seventh grade, eighth grade, I was in Sepulpa played uh, football. I was a little chunky kid, so I was an offensive defense alignment and really? played basketball and uh, went out for the wrestling team one day. Jerry Billingsley was a, or Jerry Billings was wrestling coach. And, uh, I got enough of wrestling in one, <laughs> one day, so I went back out and played basketball. And then you had to do a spring sport but to play football. And they only had two. They didn't have baseball, which I was a baseball player. I fancied myself to be one. Um, they had golf and track, and being pudgy, I didn't think track was in <laughs> my wheelhouse. So my dad had a set of golf clubs in the, in the garage. I'd never seen him use them. I didn't know he ever played golf, but I knew they were there. So I came home and said, Dad, they're going to have tryouts for the seventh grade golf team. Can I use your golf clubs? He said, well, sure. And he took me out in the backyard, and he showed me the Varden grip. Well, I don't even know why, how he knew what a Varden grip was and told me to keep my left arm straight. So the next day I took those clubs out to the first tee of the Sepulpa Muni Municipal Golf Course and teed the ball up in the ground to qualify for the junior high golf team. First time I ever swung a golf club, <laughs> it was live, qualifying. And the way I remember it, there was a highway right there by the first hole coming into Sepulpa and there was a telephone wires or electrical wires right along the highway, probably telephone wires. And I took a swing and I hit this slice and I was worried about this creek right in front of us. I wanted to make sure I got it over <laughs> that creek. It was probably five yards wide and just off the tee. But that mesmerized me. Wow, what if I hit it in that creek? So I hit this slice and it hit one of those uh, wires and fell back in the fairway and off, and off I went. <laughs> Qualified for the team. So it eventually ended up in Ardmore. Yeah, right. I, I, my dad got transferred again when I started the ninth grade, and so I ended up in Ardmore, and I went through high school in Ardmore and played, uh, got to play at Dornick Hills Country Club as a member of the golf team. So great, great place to grow up and learn about golf and play golf. So did you, minus Stillwater, because now obviously there's been a ton of years here in Stillwater, which, which is home? What, is, it, is it Odessa? Is it Ardmore? Is it Sepulpa? What, 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 when, I, when, you, when Coach says, I'm going back home, where's back home? Well, I probably shouldn't say this, but if you're born in Texas, you're a Texan. <laughs> That's a great admission to start the show here. <laughs> well, yeah, I, I grew up, you know, Hook'em. Really? Oh, yeah. My dad, uh, 
think mom and dad went to the to the you know the OU Texas game and came home. I couldn't believe it. Texas got beat by <laughs> <laughs> siblings. I thought, no, just me. I was an only child. Only child. What 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 dad do for a living? He worked in the oil field. He was uh, just an oil field hand, roused about, tool pusher. He worked on the derricks. He's the guy that stood on the top and uh, moved the pipe. And that was before they had any safety nets, any kind of safety paraphernalia up there, no railings, nothing. You stood on two two by fours and you worked 24 day, hours a day. Didn't matter if it was rain, snow, sleet, thunder, lightning. I mean, you never shut down. So. The first golf tournament he went to once I was coaching, and he was retired because he never he had to work. He couldn't watch me play any sports. We shut the, the round down. Everybody started leaving the course because the clouds were coming from the west. We were in Hutchinson, <laughs> Kansas. And he said, what's all this about? And I said, Dad, there's a thunderstorm coming. And he said, so what? <laughs> we just got to get to work. What are we doing here? Yeah, you know, big deal. What are the odds? <laughs> was he a uh, traditional home? Mom worked? Mom uh, stayed at yeah, home? Oh, yeah, mom worked. Yeah. And what she did? Uh, anything. She worked in department stores. Uh, my dad was pretty wild when before he got married. You know, he worked in that oil field, and a perfect weekend was a week was work five days, uh, make enough money to spend it in the honky tonk yeah. that weekend, drink beer, whip everybody in the <laughs> in the bar, and not get thrown in jail. <laughs> that was a perfect week. So uh, he met her in the. In the boarding house for golf, all those guys working in the oil field. She was working in there as, I'm guessing, a waitress. And uh, when uh, he got serious about her and they got married, she settled him down and he never saved a dollar. And she was very frugal. So we went off, to, uh, enlisted when World War II came along and he was in the Navy. And when he came back, she had saved every, almost every penny out of every paycheck wow. he had. And he'd never seen any money in the bank. So they never borrowed any money. They paid cash for any car, or anything. Never made much, but saved a lot. And uh, you didn't have any lights on in our house. <laughs> it's like living in a cave. You rarely turn on a light. And uh, air conditioning, you know, that was just something you read about or heard about. We didn't do that. Disciplinarians? Uh, my mother was probably. My dad, he let me do anything. <laughs> Were you a good kid? They thought I was. <laughs> That's a fair answer. Yeah, they thought I was about perfect. Uh, I'm, I'm glad they don't know some of the things I did. Never, never told them some of the bad stuff, huh? Yeah, you probably in in retrospect and uh, kind of comparing with other people. No, I was just a normal kid. But uh, college, I probably drank a little too much beer and did some things I shouldn't have done. Um, when I got married, my wife straightened all that out. <laughs> Sounds like you followed your dad's uh, suit and all of that. I want to yeah, get to got, that. He got really lucky when he got married. <laughs> I did the same. If you haven't been to TS Fork at White Barn Estates lately, we have an exciting new concept to tell you about. It's called Thirsty Thursdays, and it includes four courses of the same high quality food as our other nights and some of the best mixed drinks you've ever had. Best of all, no reservations are required. And while you're there, relax with a drink on our covered patio and check out the gift shop with Made in Oklahoma products. Go to tsfork.com for more details and to check out our upcoming special menus. When you buy a new set of tires, the best way to make your investment last is by making sure your vehicle is aligned to avoid unnecessary wear and tear. Direct Discount Tire at Stillwater has the newest state-of-the-art machine that only takes seconds to test your vehicle. It's called the Hunter drive through Alignment System, first of its kind in Oklahoma, and it's free. It's as simple as driving through this high-tech sensor rack and immediately getting your results. Point S is also your source for Michelin, BF Goodrich, and Hankook, and to make your investment last longer, ask to get a free assessment on your alignment. Direct Discount Tire at the corner of 6th and Main in Stillwater. To all of our neighbors, friends, the people we see every day, we come to you today with no news or announcement, but to let you know what's on our hearts. Because quite simply, we feel honored. You're the reason that what we do is so much more meaningful than a job. The reason we believe in the power of investing in tomorrow. But you're also the reason we believe in the power of sharing the same neighborhoods and a loyalty that's bigger than any challenge. So this is simply thank you. 
Thank you for the opportunity to move forward and grow, but never lose sight of the roots that connect us. As we step boldly into a time of change and innovation, consider this our promise that every investment in our hospital is an investment in our communities. Because you're the reason we love what we do and love where we live. The McCafe is now featuring cold brew coffee and cold brew frappes. Face the day with a cold brew coffee from the McCafe with a rich cold brew coffee blended with ice for a creamy frozen drink that's colder than cold brew. Or refresh with a cold creamy frappe. We start with a cold brew coffee blended ice and topped with whipped cream and rich chocolate drizzle for a great anytime frozen treat. McDonald's in Stillwater, Perkins, Perry, and Cushing. I'm loving it. Kent and Barbara Houck have been saying they're a one-stop shop for many years. In 1951, the Houck Agency began insuring Oklahomans and since has expanded to insure people in 11 states across the country. The Houck Agency can find the policy that fits your needs from business health coverage, individual health, home, auto, and long-term health care policies. They have a staff that can take care of financial planning, including retirement and investing. And Barbara Houck has been a realtor for over 35 years, and her contacts helped her buy and sell homes and commercial properties across the state one stop shop the hauk agency 801 south main in stillwater call statewide toll free at 800-543-8588 the hauk agency when experience counts well we got a chance to talk to coach about having a close family in fact one of the things the only time that coach got emotional was talking about the sacrifices that his family made but had a great memory of his holidays. It was a very close family, and we talk about his holiday memories. We talk about his very first golf score. How good was he, and who was his first coach? I want to get to Robbie and, and meeting her in just a minute, but, but before we get there, holidays. Holidays a big deal in your house growing up? Uh, yeah, you know, Christmas was. Uh, we'd all go to the grandmother's house, grandparents, and have Christmas. I remember that for quite a few years. But when we moved from uh, West Texas to Oklahoma, that just stopped because we were too far. We, everybody lived close by when we were in the Permian Basement. When we left there, we left our kind of left our family behind. So I'm not really close with any of my cousins or any of my relatives, and just grew apart. It's about the only I can say. Do you remember your favorite gift? Oh, I just always loved looking forward to Christmas. Oh my gosh, I couldn't wait to get to Christmas. You get out of school and it's just those days, maybe it was a week. Oh, it's just excruciating. You know? <laughs> and nowadays, you just pass. You don't even notice them that they're gone, but they just crawled along back then. So I loved Christmas, look forward to it. As a parent, was the same type of deal? Love loved seeing your daughter get a chance to oh, yeah. enjoy a little, little Christmas? Sure. So, you're playing golf at Ardmore. Were you, were you natural? I don't know. I, re I remember right, wrong, or indifferent. I shot 50 that first nine holes qualifying for the golf team there. Um, remember the score. Wow. Yeah, it's pretty low. Yeah. You know, probably wasn't that low. You know, I might not have added them all up, but I remember <laughs> 50. But I, I played on that team, and uh, my dad got me some uh, lessons from uh, Jack Higgins over at uh, – Meadowbrook Country Club in Tulsa. And I got better really fast because I worked at it. And I, I befriended an older gentleman there. I thought he was really old at the time. He was probably 35 years old, <laughs> Benny Baker. And uh, he taught me how to practice, how to get a shag bag or practice bag, how to go out and find the golf balls to put in there, and then how to pick them up with a wedge. I thought that was the neatest thing. You just carry your bag along and you pick them up with a wedge, bounce them into the bag. I thought I was... Uh, you know, Ben Hogan, all the Palmer <laughs> combined when I could do that. And then uh, one of my biggest memories is I think Marquez came to play in a match over there in Sepulpa, and I just heard about him. He was like a mythical figure. He was such a great player as a junior golfer. So I remember that. Um, Roger Banzoff, I remember him. These are names that don't mean anything to anybody, but they just come out of your sure that vault back there in the back of your mind. Uh, people that had an impact on you. Uh, but I loved my time there in Spalpa and I, I was very upset when we moved to Ardmore because I didn't know where I'd have a chance to play. And my teacher, the, where I got lessons was in Tulsa. But you know, over a period of about a year, we worked it out where I could play at the country club in Ardmore. And we, 
Had a really good player from OU, Bruce Wilkinson. Uh, he had shot the course record at Dornick Hills, which was 62, and so that was another guy that I revered and admired. Not related thought, to Bud, was he? No. Oh, no okay. That, that Wilkes, <laughs> Wilkinson. It wasn't Wilkinson. Okay, Wilkinson. I got you. Okay. Yeah, he was a great player there. Yeah. So, so I looked up to him. Coach Holder told us that his family, again, was very close, and you can hear that, but his family had to make a lot of sacrifices for his desire to play golf and to be a part of the golf team. We'll talk about that, and we'll also talk a little bit about what Coach was like as a high school student. Coming up. The Hideaway since 1957. The Hideaway is famous for a lot of things, including their off-the-charts fried mushrooms, incredible service, unbeatable lunch specials, and, of course, the one-of-a-kind pizza. Stillwater's pizza tradition begins and ends here, from the big country to the pizza of the gods. And even the sizes are famous, from the mini personal to the big kahuna. Like us on Facebook for unique offers. Lunch or dinner, dine-in, pickup, or delivery. The Hideaway, 230 South Mount Blocker, call 372-4777. More than a restaurant, it's a tradition. Charlie's Discount Drug, where we know our customers by name. Oh, yeah. Woo! Woo! Charlie's Discount Drug. Get ready to turn up the fun this June in America's friendliest college town. Feeling fruity? And 40 Berries has four varieties of blackberries right for the picking. Get your kitchen ready for jam, jellies, and cobbler. Outdoor adventures are happening every week in June at Lake McMurtry's Adventure Camp. Give your children a one-of-a-kind experience learning about the great outdoors. Find family-friendly fun every Thursday in June at Summer on the Plaza. Water slides, live music, and bounce houses galore at the OSU Student Union. This is one bash you don't want to miss with bull riders, bullfighters, and funny people keeping the crowd entertained. Where can you find pottery classes, pop-up art shops, paint supplies, and a farmer's market? It's all at the Prairie Art Center, downtown Stillwater. Don't miss a beat in America's friendliest college town. Kent and Barbara Houck have been saying they're a one-stop shop for many years. In 1951, the Houck Agency began insuring Oklahomans and since has expanded to insure people in 11 states across the country. The Houck Agency can find the policy that fits your needs from business health coverage, individual health, home, auto, and long-term health care policies. They have a staff that can take care of financial planning, including retirement and investing. And Barbara Houck has been a realtor for over 35 years and her contacts helped her buy and sell homes and commercial properties across the state. One stop shop, the Hauk Agency. 801 South Main in Stillwater. Call statewide toll free at 800 543 8588. The Hauk Agency, when experience counts. Hi, Casey Kendrick, along with Tom Dorado, inviting you to join us for Out of Bounds Weekly. Tom, from guys like Mike Boynton, Jim Littell, we've talked to basketball coaches, football coaches, we talked to softball coaches. Nobody is off the, off the t radar on this show. No, and hopefully they want to come on as much as we want to have them on. We have a good time with it. Uh, it gives you an opportunity to get behind their program. Uh, they tell you things that you maybe might not see in the newspapers or whatever. And we just have a good time on this show. It's, it's, uh, it's expanded over the years for yep. sure. Uh, not time-wise, but we've expanded the scope. How's that sound? The scope has been expanded. <laughs> if you want to see the expanded scope, you can really see it <laughs> through Tuesday mornings at 10 o'clock because Tuesday mornings we have uh, we do a show called Out of Bounds Raw, and it is nothing but the ugliness of putting a show together. Oh, the it's a lot of fun <laughs> seeing that show. Then the edited versions are Tuesday nights at 8 o'clock, Thursday nights at 8 o'clock, and Saturday mornings at 9 a.m. It is Out of Bounds from our Oklahoma Ag Credit Studios only here on TV 31. We talked to Coach Holder about his path to Stillwater. The scholarship that he turned down that would have definitely changed the path of his career. And we talk a lot about meeting and getting to know the man that would later become his mentor. So while your mom was obviously very frugal, as you mentioned, um, obviously they, they, they found a way to get you clubs, get you get you opportunity to play. I mean, so they you say at least your dad. I don't know if your mom was equally uh, willing, but uh, 
to invest in the, in the game is that obviously you showed you had a lot of enjoyment for. Well, I couldn't have had better parents that do anything for me, anything. They'd do without for months just to make it so that I had a chance to play golf. They never got to see me play. They were always working. Yeah. They wanted to make sure that I had an opportunity to pursue my dreams. And my dad made sure that I would, and mom wanted me to get a college education because my father, even though he was a real good field hand, smart guy, worked hard, had everything that you're looking for to move up in an organization, you had that glass ceiling in a corporation like golf, big as it was, if you didn't have a college degree, you can only go so far. And he didn't want me to bump into that same glass ceiling. So it was always understood that I'd go get a college education. Sepulpa graduated, or graduated from Martin Moore, spent time at Sepulpa, Dustin, Texas. Did you keep up with those classmates? I was doing the math. Now help me out if I'm wrong here, but you probably have had a 50-year reunion. Never been back to a reunion. Never been back. Really? Kept up with the classmates? Not really. How come? Well, Ardmore, I, it was a, it's a town that's uh, very, I'd say, cliquish. And I came in as an outsider. Uh, and I don't think that I was ever accepted. I, you know, I was used to moving around and, and making new friends or trying to make new friends. It wasn't new to me. But Ardmore was a, a challenging environment, a place to, to, to become one of the kind of the in crowd, so I never was there. And I, and I spent a lot of my time playing sports, uh, particularly golf. So I only had really one good friend in high school, Gary Jackson, and uh, out of that graduating class there, we were the only two that went to Oklahoma State. Everybody else either didn't go to college or went to Oklahoma mm -hmm. or maybe at Central State, someplace like that. Do you think Southeastern. people in Ardmore know that Mike Holder graduated from Ardmore? Probably not. <laughs> I didn't register on the radio. <laughs> you're not. You're not in the. Uh, you're not in the in the gym somewhere. Your picture and proud uh, proud home of Mike Holder. You might find me at the back of a yearbook. <laughs> Maybe. I doubt it. So, you're playing golf now. You, as you mentioned, it was obviously uh, an intentional thing that you're going to go to college. At some point, did you get the attention of a few golf coaches and went, okay, this guy, this guy's pretty good? No, it was different back then. It, uh, I didn't even know that you could be an All-American in golf. I thought that was just uh, football and basketball players. That's how naive I was. And there really wasn't any recruiting. Um, I took a, a visit to Oklahoma University because Bruce Wilkinson, as I said, he's from Ardmore and a great player, and he played for OU. And he told the coach there that, hey, I played with this young guy in Ardmore is not too bad. I went there. His name was Bud Cronin. He was an assistant basketball coach. And on the side, he was a golf coach. So we played nine holes. And then we played a little pickup basketball. <laughs> and he offered me probably half to three quarters of a scholarship, which was a really, really big deal. And so I thought that's where I would go. But our, our head professional in Ardmore at Dornick Hills was Chris Gears. And he played for Oklahoma State. And he said, whoa, 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 young fellow. <laughs> Don't just go to Oklahoma because you've got an offer. They're, Oklahoma State's a lot better in golf than Oklahoma. Well, I didn't know. And he said, I'll take you to Wichita in a week. We'll play in a pro-am up there, and I'll introduce you to Laburn Harris, and we'll see if he's got some interest in you. So he, he made good on that. I met Coach Harris. He watched me hit a few practice balls there. Uh, and invited me to come to uh, Stillwater, play her, and uh, check out Lakeside Golf Course. So a couple of weeks later, my dad brought me up to Lakeside. Uh, we went out and hit a few practice balls. I played nine holes with Coach Harris. And after we finished, he said, you know, I don't, he, and you got to understand how Coach Harris operated. He really threw scholarships around like a uh, thousand pound dumbbells. <laughs> He didn't <laughs> like to offer any right. kind of financial aid. Uh, Marquez, who I mentioned earlier, now he got a scholarship, but he said, we don't have really have a scholarship for you. I think I can get you an academic scholarship. There's a Trans-Mississippi scholarship, which was a golf association that sponsored a big amateur golf tournament every year. And they give out uh, scholarships, $500 a semester, I think it was, or maybe for a year, if you uh, major in agronomy, turf grass. I didn't know what I wanted to major in, and $500 sounded like a lot of money, so okay, that's interesting. 
But that's all he offered. Where do you go for computer help? Gigabytes. Gigabyte staff are experts in virus removal, software updates, and faster running computers. Gigabytes also provide small business support and network support, including websites. And they do laptop screen replacements, and they do all kinds of cosmetic repairs as well. Whatever your computer needs, they are the ones that can provide you with the answers and solutions to get you up and running. Gigabytes, 918 South Main, open Monday through Friday, 10 to 6, or call 533-1715. Charlie's Discount Drug, where we know our customers buy me. When you buy a new set of tires, the best way to make your investment last is by making sure your vehicle is aligned to avoid unnecessary wear and tear. Direct Discount Tire at Stillwater has the newest state-of-the-art machine that only takes seconds to test your vehicle. It's called the Hunter drive through Alignment System, first of its kind in Oklahoma, and it's free. It's as simple as driving through this high-tech sensor rack and immediately getting your results. Point S is also your source for Michelin, BF Goodrich, and Hankook, and to make your investment last longer, ask to get a free assessment on your alignment. Direct Discount Tire at the corner of 6th and Main in Stillwater. Do you want to be a Cowboy Insider? Then you need to check out TV 31 at 1. Each weekday, we talk about what you'll be talking about in the world of OSU sports and beyond. You'll get the football and basketball insights you'd expect, but we don't stop there. We talk to the inside sources for all Cowboy and Cowgirl sports, including wrestling, baseball, softball, tennis, golf, and more. Catch us each afternoon from 1 to 3 right here on TV31 and simulcast on Team Radio. Turn up the fun this June in America's friendliest college town. Feeling fruity? And 40 Berries has four varieties of blackberries right for the picking. Get your kitchen ready for jams, jellies, and cobblers. Outdoor adventures are happening every week in June at Lake McMurtry's Adventure Camp. Give your children a one-of-a-kind experience learning about the great outdoors. Find family-friendly fun every Thursday in June at Summer on the Plaza. Water slides, live music, and bounce houses galore at the OSU Student Union. This is one bash you don't want to miss with bull riders, bullfighters, and funny people keeping the crowd entertained. Where can you find pottery classes, pop-up art shops, paint supplies, and a farmer's market? It's all at the Prairie Art Center, downtown Stillwater. Don't miss a beat in America's friendliest college town. To our neighbors and friends, we come to you today to let you know what's on our hearts. Because you're the reason what we do is so much more meaningful than a job. The reason we believe in the power of investing in tomorrow and the power of community. So this is simply thank you. As we step boldly into a time of growth and change, consider this our promise, that every investment in our hospital is an investment in our communities. If you haven't been to TS Fork at White Barn Estates lately, we have an exciting new concept to tell you about. It's called Thirsty Thursdays, and it includes four courses of the same high quality food as our other nights, and some of the best mixed drinks you've ever had. Best of all, no reservations are required. And while you're there, relax with a drink on our covered patio and check out the gift shop with Made in Oklahoma products. Go to tsfork.com for more details and to check out our upcoming special menus. We are just scratching the surface with Coach Holder. We sat down with him for a long time. We still have five more shows to go of really good stuff about learning who Mike Holder truly is and how he came to Oklahoma State University. Next time, we'll talk about Lakeside and how Lakeside Golf Course became his first opportunity and first look at an opportunity for a national championship. And we talk about a conversation with his dad that truly led him to Stillwater and Oklahoma State University. That's next time on TV 3101.